So I started my weightlifting career playing on the Bowflex that my dad had in the spare room. 14 years old, I was below six foot, you know, buck 25. Couldn't even put, you know, 135 up on the bench. And I took it seriously, I think I was 18 years old. So they said, why don't you compete in a bodybuilding competition? That way you have kind of a goal set for yourself, you know, just gain as much weight as possible and uh, then cut down. Good feeling I had, I remember I was walking up to, to the podium to submit my ID and, and get my, my number and everything and register. And she's like, you're not, you know, you're teen division? And I was like, yeah, I'm 19, you know, I'm just competing. And she's like, no, I have to see your ID because we're, they didn't believe me I was 19, you know. So right away I was saying, okay, I feel pretty good. After that, I just kept going. I kept, I kept using, you know, the proper nutrition, the proper workouts, and, and I didn't give up, and I wanted to stay consistent on it. I didn't just say, okay, I won, I'm gonna give up. I was like, no, I, just, I even got hungrier for it, and I wanted to get bigger and better, and I wanted to like be, you know, bigger than anyone out there. Much time as I put into, and as much work, a lot of people will jump to steroids right away and say, like, well, you know, you've done steroids and whatnot, and it's like, no, it's, it's been the consistency of doing it for years and years, and doing everything right and learning about your body enough where you do it properly to help build the physique up where you don't need any kind of like chemicals put into your body that's not natural, synthetic chemicals. So you just have to stick with it. You have to slowly learn about your own body. It's gonna take time. I'm half-assing around here. What are you laughing at? Oh. <laughs>